In the same acacia forest in which the secretary birds have built their nest, a family of warthogs grazes on the nutritious green grasses that have grown since the rains. The little warthogs are only a few days old, but already they are expert savanna dwellers. They still lack the experience to be able to find food like their elders, but they have the mobile food store of their mothers, and though she doesn't want to stop to feed them, the young warthogs are determined to get at the nutritious milk. Their only task during these first weeks will be to exercise in order to acquire the speed and strength which will enable them to flee from hunters. And they dedicate themselves to this in body and soul. Wrestling matches or football with a pat of elephant dung form part of their training. Anything will do if it serves to make them faster and stronger. Because it would not be long before the savannah puts them to the test. In the shade of an acacia, a cheetah watches over a nearby group of oryxes. The oryxes are too strong for him, but at this time of year, there are always young calves, just a few days old, and it is one of these that the cheetah has his eye on. calf appears to be perfectly healthy, and the possibilities of catching it are virtually nil. But the cheetah has been building up tension and decides to launch a desperate attempt. The oryx moves off unhurriedly, confident of its superiority, but without exposing its young to unnecessary risks. The cheetah has not even had the chance to test out its prodigious speed. There are many adults in the group, and it knows that when it comes to defending its young, an oryx is capable of killing even a lion, so he abandons the attempt and returns to his slow wanderings in search of more accessible prey. During the short rains between December and February, there are frequent storms at nightfall. The climate mellows and the heat of the day gives way to fresh humid air, the temperature the large hunters have been waiting for to go into action. The evenings and nights of Shaba are extraordinarily beautiful, but even loyal to its contrasts, they are also the time when death lurks in the dark. Night falls over the Awaso Nagido. Along the dark banks, long shadows emerge from the water in search of the warmth of the sand heated up during the daytime hours. The metabolism of the Nile crocodiles depends on their body temperature, and this in turn depends on their surroundings, 
so at sunset the narrow shores of the Owasso fill with these dragons. For the lionesses, the night is an advantage. Lions have eyes that can see in the dark. Under the cover of the shadows, a mother and her young from the previous year lie in wait for the herbivores, guided by the sounds coming from the thicket. Tonight they are not in luck. From the forest alongside the river, three elephants emerge, and no hunter in Shawa would dare disturb them. So the lionesses lower their guard and rest, waiting for other signs that reveal the presence of possible prey. <laughs> <laughs> 